Our first guest tonight is an Emmy-nominated actor you know for his work on shows such as Justified, Deadwood, and Santa Clarita Diet. You can see him next in Amsterdam, which premieres in theaters October 7th. Let's take a look. Then I saw the man, this red-faced man, the man who pushed Liz Meekins, and he looked right at me and he said, This is your moment to end your inferiority. You're gonna have that procedure. Come on. Please welcome back to the show, my very good friend, Timothy Oliphant. to them what you just told me. No, no, that's your show, that's your job. Let me tell you something. All right, well, can I tell them what you just told Please, me? Please, go for it. You, you, uh, we shook hands, I said, mm -hmm. thanks for being here, and mm -hmm. then you, you wouldn't let go, uh -huh. and you said, I told my wife I'm gonna hold this hug for an uncomfortably long time. <laughs> yeah, and then she said, I said, because the audience likes that, they, they think we're talking about something. Yeah. And she said, and she said, Tim, you're trying too hard. <laughs> You told me that whole exchange while we were over there, yeah. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> this and, is very nice to have And I gotta say, what? I think I was trying too hard. You do? Yeah, yeah, no, I think she's right. Yeah, I think I... I was trying too hard. You guys are going for it right now, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I also think she was right. You know what? I like that you held me for a really long time and then you still made a real meal, like making a real long loop. <laughs> Did the, you pointed at the band. You Honestly, I got a little lost <laughs> because it's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a long time since yeah. we, since I've seen you. It's lovely to see you. It's by lovely the way. to see you. We, lovely to see all we of you and enough, uh, the band. I appreciate the band. <laughs> we had a very, so you there. What? All of your all of your appearances on the show are memorable, but we had a very uh, memorable Zoom uh, and, uh, and sort of sartorially uh, memorable because of what you were wearing, uh, a very charming hat, and then the whole interview. I'm like, is that a Van Halen? Jersey? What is that? Yeah, no, I, I picked that up at one of the shows. <laughs> that's a Van Halen jersey. Okay, so you went to a Van Halen show and you bought, that's merch. That's, yeah. <laughs> Which is big for me that I bought something. Uh-huh. Because I'm pretty, I'm into the, I'm in show business. Yeah. I like the free stuff. <laughs> but, but, uh, but I paid, I paid for that okay. at a Van Halen show. It was a good show. And Eddie had passed away, I, perhaps that Rest day, in peace, and yeah. so I broke oh, out. Yeah, I broke right. out the short. It, it, it was an honor. It was of. the day. It was an honor of Eddie. Eddie um, you know, there's another interesting thing about show business where some people will, um, you know, they'll get a stylist and they'll wear a piece of clothing once. Yeah, it's been recommended to me. Um, <laughs> but we noticed something about your hat. You just yeah. had the premiere for your film Amsterdam, and uh, I think you double dipped. Yeah. So the hat. Yeah. The hat's back. Yeah. I was terribly underdressed. No, don't, don't say you're terribly underdressed. Here's no. Drake at the same thing. <laughs> he might have overdid it, but <laughs> it doesn't appear that, as though the invitation just said dress code and said your call. Yeah. You're like, whatever you want, because, I, yeah, I, yeah. It does feel like you I just gotta... realized what your cast members are wearing. <laughs> And you look like you're about to like make a break for it. You have, you have the gait of a man who's about to leave. I will say before I forget, because I often do forget to say this, it was uh, just a genuine pleasure to be part of that film. And, yeah, and, and a it wonderful just cast. Meant, it, it meant a great deal to be part of that film, and, and every step along the way has just been. And they tried real hard uh, in the clip. They tried real hard to give you an ugly face. It was Still can't clear, do it. It did occur to me when I showed up on set and I'd gone through hair and makeup that he clearly had somebody else in mind for the part. <laughs> But, because I, I said to him, it's David O. Russell film, he's one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. And, and at one point, I do remember saying to him, you know, you, you probably could have just hired someone who looked like this. I mean, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm glad you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, a really a, quite a thrilling experience. Do you, um, uh, we've, um, we've talked about your kids. You've got three, two girls and a boy. Do they give yeah. you feedback when you uh, show up in public like this? Or is that, is that a thing where you don't hear much? Uh, well, I, they weren't, I didn't bring this up. So my, they don't give a 
They don't give a <laughs> Yeah. But you, I should know one of your co-stars, Taylor Swift. Yeah. Did they? No. no. <laughs> that matters, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my kids have gotten, um, they get very excited about people in the mu music business, people, they get very excited. Right. Taylor, they're very, very excited about, yeah. And I'm aware of it, so I'll tell them, yeah, I'm working with Taylor Swift today. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you're trying to get a little... A little currency with the kids? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, you're gonna, you're gonna, you don't know this yet, but you're gonna get to this place, and it's, it feels like a, a desperation where you're like, <laughs> you catch yourself saying like, I'm working with Taylor Swift today, <laughs> and as soon as you say it, you're like, what the f is wrong with me? Why am I trying to impress my own goddamn children? They're my, you know what I mean? And they can smell it on you, right? Oh my God, they can smell it. <laughs> But I know they are in, that, that is the only thing. You know, I was, uh, I was at um, the greatest thing that ever happened to me as far as my children are concerned. We were at the um, Once Upon a Time, uh, Hollywood, what was that film? Yeah, yeah, uh, the, the, the Quentin Once Tarantino upon a time film. in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. The Caprio so, Brad Pitt. So we're, exactly. So we're at that premiere, and my kids, for the most part, we never took them to any of these things, but now they're older, they're out of the house. We miss them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> so nice. I mean, we miss him, but oh my God. <laughs> anyway, we take him to the premiere, and uh, uh, that's when it re I, they, Brad Pitt and then Leo, and it was all very exciting, but when they saw Snoop Dogg. Really? Oh my that God. That was the one. Like, they were like, oh my God, it's, they, they went crazy. <laughs> they went crazy. They were so excited. And um, uh, we were um, with someone who knew him and said, do you want to come meet him? And they were like, of course we do. Of course we do. They were so excited. And it was the greatest thing that ever could have happened to me in front of my kids. Uh, when I was first, I was the first to be introduced to him. And um, he looked at me, uh, you know, someone said, Snoop, Tim, Tim, Snoop. And he looked at me and goes, you a bad mother <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. That's the best. I mean. I tried so hard. <laughs> you don't understand what it took for me to stay focused and cool yeah. in that moment and not do, look at my children and go. <laughs> <laughs> like the most uncool thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just had to take it. I yeah. literally almost looked at them and said, see? <laughs> do you not see? All right, All right well, you gotta stick around because I have a lot more questions about your kids. We'll be right back. Okay.